Hello everybody, this is Fronito Bobbin here, and welcome back to Train Simulator 3, and yet another route review. Yep, it's time for another one of those, indeed. And today we're checking out the British Midlands 2.0. Yes, I am finally doing a video on this route. Um, so this one's actually been up for quite a while, actually. This isn't necessary. Uh, new concentrate thing. It just took me, or it just took me this long to get around to making a video on this route because there's been so many other um, new stuff released recently. Um, but just um, yeah, there's no more British content that's come out as of recent. Like uh, you know, as you know, I like to do these videos where we do American, give it British, no things so you get. So I'm not doing like the same stuff over and over again. Um, but um. Yeah, this would usually be when we would take a look at a new uh, British map, but there hasn't, yeah, there hasn't actually been any uh, British content released in a little while, so here we are. We're finally checking out the British Midlands 2.0. Like I said, this is actually a deal that's been around for quite, not, oh, not quite some time, but really ever since, like, this game came out. Actually, I'm not too sure actually when this thing came out, but it's been out for a while, but here we are finally doing a video on it. So then, British Midlands 2.0, what is this thing? Well... Um, it's basically another remaster of a classic trains route, um, kind of like the uh, Scenic Country USA route that we looked at, um, at last year actually, around this time last year, uh, was when we looked at the uh, Scenic Country USA remaster here for Trains Simulator 3. Uh, but the difference though is that, um, so interesting enough, the, uh, the remade version of the Scenic Country USA route for Trains Simulator 3 it's actually a uh, free route that you can just download. However, um, this isn't. Um, the uh, British Midlands 2.0 is not free. You have to actually pay $5 for this one. Um, yeah, so uh, you have to pay for this one this time. And, um, well, yeah, this is, this is pretty much free. Okay, so yeah, so let's go over what you get with this well. You don't have to get too much, actually. In fact, what you're seeing in this siding here, this is the entire contents of what you get in this route. So um, I guess we'll go over it right now then. So... Our locomotive is the Class 47, which I just only, oh, yeah, there's the numbers. West Coast Railways, then. Okay, I guess we're on the West Coast of Britain, I suppose. Even though this, wait, no, this is the Midlands. That makes no sense. Uh, Roycast OB, I'm, I'm, is that randomized between, like, different locomotives? Maybe it does. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, Class uh, 47. Uh, but I guess one positive point though, about this Class 47 is that this isn't an older uh, trains model. This is a newer model of the Class 47. You know, so basically this isn't the Class 47 from Train Simulator 2. This is actually a new model for Trains Simulator uh, 3. So here's the exterior detail. It actually looks pretty nice. Uh, but then again, this locomotive was made since the um, since the new E2 era, which has more graphical capabilities and things. So okay, so let's get inside. And here you go, uh, brand new cab, well not brand new, but new cab for this lookbook as well, and it actually looks pretty good. I am quite pleased with the detailing and stuff, um, yeah, all the detailing and stuffisms that they've done on this, uh, and the newer locomotives, it actually looks pretty good, I have to say. Yeah, the E2 engine, especially with all the upgrades it's had, definitely produces quite the looks and this definitely looks pretty good. Like, look at all the details. You see the Siemens and stuff. You can actually read it out and stuff. It's not like it's not all green and stuff like the trains. Two stuff is from which is from the air and jet engine era. Um. And yeah, so you get the uh, class forty seven with this uh, route, and you also get three different versions of the Mach one coach. Uh, I'm not sure what the different types are, but we get like. Uh, actually, we can take a look at that. Yeah, let's let's look at that. So we have the BSK, FO, and TSO versions. Um, so this is the BFO. Does it have a passive view by any chance? It does. All oh, right, we got passive view. And I have, to, like I said, I have to say this looks pretty nice. It is a bit grainy, and I believe that might have to do with the fact that they had may have had to turn down the graphics. Uh, for the you know so they this so this. Game can be optimized for mobile devices. Here's the other coach. Let's see if they have passive view in this one. And they do. I believe this is actually a. Oh, this is first class. Oh. Does at least look like first class. So look at that. Look at all of the details and everything. This is actually pretty nice. We gotta upload M3V for all the details and stuff. And finally, this one, which I think is like a second class coach. 
And yeah, patch view this one as well. Okay, so all three coaches in this pack have patch view. Oh, you can even see the little the dirt on the table. Oh, that's actually quite cool. You got, you got details. Look at that. Yes, this is actually quite nice. Huh, kind of makes those five dollars worth it. Because one actually thing to note about the um, about the I guess one thing worth noting about the Sydney Country USA route for Train Smart Three, is that the Sydney Country USA does come with like rolling stock that isn't already in the default um trains but all it's all like older stuff like um so over the city like i said over city country usa free version for train number three um all of the rolling stock you get in that is just older stuff ported from the older trains games whereas here in the british midlands remade version i mean so it would cost five dollars because in this route you actually get brand new rolling stock that actually uses the capabilities of this engine and I have to say, this new rolling stock, or well, it's not really new, but this rolling stock they gave this route does look pretty nice. And if we zoom out, we can see the whole route, and as you see right here, it is pretty much the same as the British Midlands route has always been, but it is, this is supposed to be a remake of the British Midlands route, so I don't suspect that too much has changed. Um, actually, I think this route actually has even, yeah, I mean, they didn't change much on the same country USA route, but I think this route is pretty much just the exact... Well, no, I think actually I'm not even sure if it's like a if it's like a new round thing. Maybe maybe they took the original British Midlands round, they just updated all the assets to the newer stuff that they've come out with. Actually, if we look at the station, okay, not all of them. This I believe this is the old. I think that I think this is the old um, station from the original British Midlands round actually. So, okay, so not all the assets are updated to the new stuff, but some are. So, there you go. Um, of course we'll take the route in more detail. Uh, today, so let's go do that actually. Let's do a scenario. Alright, so here are these scenarios that you get with the British Midlands 2.0. Not a lot actually, and there's also, weird that there's actually no free roam scenarios. So, uh, so this third scenario here, that's actually one that I uh, created. That's actually a, I believe, wait, no, I may have messed it up. But <laughs> anyway, um, no, this is actually, yeah, that's the scenario that we just, that I just used to show off the uh, intro of this video. Uh, but here are the two scenarios that you actually get with this, um, with this route and yeah strangely enough there are no free draft scenarios like it seems like with all these trains two or train three routes they you know they have the scripted scenarios but they also have like the free draft scenarios where you can just pick a train and drive it around wherever you want this one this game doesn't actually come with that for some strange reason so basically you have to go into one of these two scenarios and then you have to go into the the uh, six the this thing here and then you have to bring a train and then it brings you into like a free roam thing so basically um you you know i mean you can do free roam on this route but it seems like you have to make your own session to actually do that so um yeah uh so the two routes of so, uh, two routes okay so the two stairs they do get with this route though which are both pre-scripted scenarios you get the mach 1 coach rescue and passenger run well i don't think we're gonna do any rescuing today because you know rescuing takes effort and uh, yeah we're just gonna do a more traditional passenger work of course this is basically the first video they're making here on the bridge with this 2.0 so i want to do a more traditional scenario and that'll be done with the passenger run so let's look at the information so today you are in charge of a of the West Coast Railways Class 47-7 with Mach 1 coaches. This wait the HST. Wait what? Wait that's what comes with the HST. Oh. Um. Okay. I guess the HST is also included in this route. Okay. Uh, this river train has the job of stopping each pass station around the British Midlands. HT should be running today, so make sure you give a go a drive past it. Good luck. Okay. Well, I guess the HST is also in this route. Okay. I mean. Okay, um, let's do it then. Here we go. Before we get started, be sure to check out my Fiverr gig. Link is in the description. Alright, starting off at the main station. Taking in charge of driving a passenger train. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, she is. Uh, follow the navigation points and the detected text. Listen out to the guard whistle at each station before we're heading to the next station. And if you do fine, let me know how this little girl handles. I have to say, it does look pretty nice. It's, I actually do like the livery that they said they chose for this route as well. It's in this really nice looking maroon color. I really like it. All passenger boards should be cleared for departure. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Also, the points turned off, and yeah, I think we're gonna need points for today. I mean, by points I mean the um the the points, the junctions, not the scoring points. Alrighty, well here we are then on the British 
Midlands 2.0. Um, and uh, fun fact, I have actually done a video on the British Midlands 1.0 that's over in Train Slayer 2. So if you guys want to compare um, this route to that route, well, I've done a video on that route as well. And there is the HST. So, okay. So that's something that I didn't, uh, that I didn't know about. But yeah, I guess the Class 43 HST is also included. So let's blow the horn, which I actually forgot to do earlier. Oh, okay, old thing. There you go, HST! Look at that! You also get the HST with the spell, as it turns out. Okay. Alrighty then. So, as it turns out, that the class 43 HST is also included with the spell. Okay. Good to know. Um, also, that's the. I forgot to blow the horn back when I was sewing the train off, but yeah. Sounds to me though, the horn is just the old class 47 horn, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, see, this doesn't have any lights on it. I, I don't know. All right, this is done just a little bit. So I don't want to break the speed limit. No, come on. There we go. Let's get a flyby view. Oh what? Oh no. I didn't, oops, I should have, balls, I forgot about the speed limit thingy. Nah. Balls. We're going to do a flyby cam too. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go, should have turned that out to begin with. Okay, but at least we did come to a complete stop, so thank you for that. Alright, highly. Uh, see our full train for the day then. Here's the single track portion. Yes. And there's a the train. You can also get a pretty good listen to the new um, run sounds. Which I believe was introduced back in Trains 2019. So yeah, British Midlands 2.0. Yeah, I think the route layout is exactly the same as the original British Midlands route, but they just they basically came in and they've replaced a lot of the uh, a lot of the older assets with the newer assets. Also, I believe this route is um, is exclusive to the uh, Trains Mobile game. I mean, yeah, Trains Mobile game, Trains Number Three. I don't think you can get this route over on the PC version. Technically, you can have the old, uh, you can have British, you, okay, <laughs> technically, you can have the British Midlands route over in the, um, over in Trains 2019. Uh, we're gonna slow down time? Uh-oh. Oh, no, please stop! Slow down! Wow, the brakes of this train are pretty bad, actually, okay. I guess uh, we're using. Are we using? Is this is this the rubbish back vacuum brakes? It must be. Okay, we might. Uh, it's good to be close. Come on. Okay, at least we have a green light. Oh, we're gonna stop at time. Ooh, okay. I didn't actually. Okay. Uh, are we? Hmm. Yeah, they're coming on. Okay. Well, thank. Oh, I actually, we're gonna do it. Oh, it turns out I actually applied my brakes at a pretty good time. Look at that. So yeah, thank goodness the light is green, by the way. Otherwise, we would have definitely overrun that, but thankfully it's green. So we're actually going to stop in exactly the right place. I absolutely nailed it. I am the greatest train driver in the world. And the door's open. Look at that. Too bad the people don't move. Uh, but yeah, there you go. There's another cool thing I just about this. Well, yeah, the door's open on the coaches. How cool is that? I can even see the passengers things that's actually cool you better don't walk around though and doors are closed but highly station yeah i do think there's a lot i think there's some newer assets but i think there's also some assets that are just taken over from the original version okay let's go Okay, so it's a good thing that we stopped in the right place, but next time we're going to be a bit more cautious.
We're off and away once again. Um, but yeah, for those of you who wanted a Friday 13 video here on the British Minus 2.0 outlet, well, here you go. I would have actually taken a look at this one a lot sooner if there wasn't like so many DLCs and stuff that released, but yeah. I mean, I think after what well, they came up with like the Scottish Highlands route, then the, well, not the Scottish, the Halls Junction, well, okay, there was Halls Junction, then the Market Easterly, and then Scottish Highlands. Okay, I think Market Easterly came up beforehand, but yeah. So I believe this is actually the uh, fourth British route we've actually looked at um, in these trains videos. And I believe there's actually all four British routes there are in general, actually. I don't think there's any more than this. Um, yeah, in terms of there are actually no British routes by default they get with Trains 3. In terms of the routes that you do get, where you get basically an American route, an Australian route, and I guess a European route. I don't, I, it's just called European Spound, but that's like supposed to be just Europe in general or whatever, but yeah. But yeah, there's no like purely British routes. That you get with default. All of the uh, British routes that are in this game are DLC routes. Actually, I say that one of these isn't is isn't really a route. It's just a station. That being Market Easterly. And there's HST again. Hello there. So yeah, I guess HST is also included with this route. Okay. Uh, well, if you guys if you guys want to see a uh, a close look at the HST. Um, that engine is, or that train is actually also included in the, uh, Market Easterly. Um, so if you want me to, if you want a, a closer look at the uh, HST, uh, from me, uh, watch the, uh, Market Easterly video. Okay, these vacuum brakes are not that great. I guess they're vacuum, yeah, I think they're vacuum brakes. I'm not too sure. I don't know. Here we are at this next station. Midland Grace. Did they actually get these stations saved? I think they did, yeah. I think over back in uh, the original British Midlands route, was just called like Station 1948 1 or just Station 1 or something. Here in this version, though, they gave these stations actual names. So that's pretty cool. Let's pull just a little bit beyond the platform so we can get as many coaches in as possible. By the, by the way, are the doors going to open up again or, or not? Let's see. They, they are okay. Hmm, interesting. But that's a pretty cool feature. I really like that. Although, granted, it's, it's actually a pretty simple thing. I mean, doors opening. Come on, it shouldn't be that advanced. <laughs> yeah, remember back in the really early trains. Assets where the doors didn't even open at all. It was just actually didn't even have actually back in the day that the, the coach didn't even have an interior Yeah, that's how far we've come in in these trains games like there was a point in time When the trains coaches they didn't even have an interior it was just a uh, Well, actually if you watch the uh, trains 2 video on, on this route you'll actually know All right, Saxton Point is the name of that station now. <laughs> we had one emergency brake application, but fortunately, I was able to save it. Because thankfully, that well, I I guess um yeah, the train didn't come to a complete stop, which is kind of surprising. I don't think they're supposed to come to a complete stop. They're supposed to slow down a lot, and then they like takes about ten seconds, and then they let you regain control. <laughs> Which why I would recommend changing the HUD to the one that shows you like how far the next speed limit is. But I do like that we have an actual HUD now. 
here in the uh, I believe it was Trains 2019 that was the first game when they like revamped the HUD because even Trains the New Era which was the first one to use the new E2 or yeah the new E2 engine that one still had the old um, HUD from the older Trains games whereas you know Trains 2019 first one with the completely new HUD Okay, signal is green, so I'm not going to be too worried about something in the right place, but I don't want to over the platform, because I think if you were to over the run the platform, then the game will just say, no, we can't do that. Where well, we are back at Saxon, I went to get to the new name for the station. Yeah, Saxon Point. They gave the station an actual name rather than Station 1942-1, or whatever the heck it was called. And I believe that's going to be the end of the scenario. That was a quick one, by the way. Like 10 minutes, something to do the whole loop. Okay, I see the doors open again. Yes. That's a nice detail. So all the doors open, even these ones back here. Sorry, off the platform. Uh oh, someone's gonna fall. <laughs> Key doors are closed. Okay. Now what? Is that it? Oh. Wait, it doesn't even tell you when the scenario is over. Um, I guess that's it. Well, um, huh. Okay. Well, um, is that it? I, I guess so. I don't know. Wait, can we take control of the HST train? No. Where you go, then? That's HST, which is also included in this route. Yeah, uh, that's the timetable thing is gone. It's not giving me any more instructions. So, I think that's it. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's nothing more on the timetable. No more instructions. I didn't say anything about the thing. Well, yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, since it's not giving me any more instructions, I'm just gonna just assume that's the end. Uh, H team could wait for that train to pass by again, but man, I think we're good. So, yeah, I don't know if we're supposed to continue or whatever. All right, yeah, let's watch the train depart then. Because uh, I think it's supposed to be where they say, hey, well done, but they didn't program that in or something. And as a result, well, uh, I'm just going to assume that's the end of the scenario then. So, yeah, I guess we'll watch this train depart. That HT is about to pass through, actually. There you go. So that is the British Midlands 2.0. Pretty good route, I guess. I will say there's a pretty good recreation of this route. There is HST. I believe it's come to a stop at the station, actually. Oh, but look at how bad this, though, looks compared to what we just looked at. Yeah, this is still the old... Trains 2010 HST. Not a new model. Well, as this HT has come to a stop, I guess that's going to be the end of the video because, uh, well, there's nothing nothing else to do. They haven't given us any more instructions, so, yeah, I can assume that's the end of the video. All right, end of the scenario. If it's not, though, and maybe I played this scenario wrong, uh, please do let me know, but you pretty much for the whole route, so, yeah. Okay, that's in this video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in whatever I make next.